morning and welcome to Love Every Moment, coming to you today from Lincoln City, Oregon. Today's verse is the second verse in the Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount, and it is uh, Matthew 5, 4. It says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And when we first look at this, it looks like just a simple random platitude. There, there, everything's going to be okay. But I think there's a lot more going on here. In fact, I see these Beatitudes as not random, but sequential, that they're building on a theme here, a theme of God's love. So what do I mean by that? Well, in the previous verse, and you can look up my previous video if you like, it says, blessed are the poor in spirit. And I had suggested that the poor in spirit are those who have given God everything, so they don't own anything in their hearts. He could have it all. Well, in the next verse, those that mourn might be those whom, uh, from whom God has taken something. He might have taken away their health. He might have taken away something they used to love to eat. They might have taken away a spouse. They might have taken away a dream of theirs or something. And they're mourning that. That's okay to mourn. We're human. Uh, but where is the comfort? The comfort is God's love, which is rock solid. Uh, however, we humans look to several other things for comfort sometimes instead of looking for His love. We often re look for uh, re replacement, restoration, or justice. So, as a sample, uh, restoration. The Apostle Paul had some sort of physical ailment. He called it a thorn in his flesh. Some scholars think it was uh, an eye issue. But whatever it was, he wasn't fully healthy. And he prayed to God three times to take away this thorn in the flesh. God chose not to heal him. He could have. But God doesn't heal every time, and the uh, Christian doctrines that say he must heal you if you have enough faith are flat out wrong, because believe it or not, Paul had plenty of faith. And God chose not to heal him, saying that all you need is my grace. My love will get you through this. And sometimes God does that with us. If we look for restoration of our health, uh, that may not be as satisfying as his love. So, restoration of something we lose if we lose money or we have a car wreck and we're looking for the next car or whatever, it's not going to satisfy as much as his love will. Number two is rest uh, replacement. Now, I lost my dog Hilda, and this is Hilda right here. Uh, I had her for 17 years, and I really mourned when that dog died, which was right before I went full-timing in this RV. And my well-meaning friend said, why don't you just get a new dog? And uh, there's nothing wrong with getting a new dog, but if that's the only way I'm going to fill the hole in my heart that was left when Hilda was taken from me, it's not going to be as satisfying as his love. So if we look for a replacement uh, for something that we lose, uh, that includes losing a loved one. Uh, for example, if someone's divorced or their uh, spouse dies, sometimes the only thing they look for for comfort is another spouse, a replacement, instead of looking for God's love. Now again, I'm not condemning, I'm just saying the real comfort is in God's love. Then the third thing we look for, especially we Americans, we look for justice to be our comfort. So if somebody steals my money or uh, vandalizes my property or a company unjustly uh, fires me or something, we sometimes look for the justice system to be our comfort. And unfortunately, the justice system has flaws. It's not going to work perfectly every time. It's a human institution. It's going to let us down at least sometimes. So if our comfort is in his uh, love, then we won't say things like no justice, no peace. We will have peace through his love. And that's why I keep saying over and over, if we love every moment, we're going to love every moment. I'm your average Wretchen. Hope you have a good week.